Okay, I'm standing out in front of the house. Kind of coming around this way. It's got a drainage area down this way, down the side yard. And then there's the HVAC unit. It's got a very nice long driveway down the side here. Some landscape rock out here. Truly a southwestern home. So this driveway on the other side of the fence is a shared driveway and that's what leads to the back of the property and there's a gate down there you can see where you enter the backyard to get to the driveway but this is about what the view looks like and it's pretty stunning and then here's the side of the home got your dish network up there got a little water cistern they're draining water off the roof and using it. Okay, so entering the house and she is moving, so it's a lot of boxes, but you come in the home and it's, it's gonna stand here and look around. Kind of gives you an idea of the layout. You've got the kitchen on the left. I'm sort of standing where the dining room table was. You've got a big living area over here. Stairs that go downstairs. And a washer and dryer utility room off the side here with a cabinet counter and some shelf space, hanging space. So coming out this way, come in the front door. You're going to have the kitchen to the left. And we've got cut tile countertops and backsplash. And then cupboards with some crown molding on them going this way. So the stove is a Samsung. And then you've got a microwave, Kenmore on the wash on the refrigerator. So again, you've got counter space, some cabinets and drawers here. And then on the island, you have cabinets and drawers, the dishwasher and the sink and more counter space. And then coming back this way, you've got the living room. And let me get kind of a close in on the tile. It's got some very southwesterny. It's got a little bit of reds, some grays, tans. Okay, so here is the living room and it is really good size. There's another door there and you've got the fireplace with the southwest chimney on it. It's really cute. And then we have the master bedrooms off to the left. So we'll enter that. And it's a good size. It's got doors out to the patio. And I'm going to go do that from the living room, but it's really stunning. We've got a big walk-in closet. So it goes down this way, all the way this way with some built-ins at the end. So coming around and you've got your master bath. Once again, Jack and Jill sinks, tile countertops, light fixtures, standalone shower, and a deep jetted soaker tub here. Kind of give you an idea out the window. Got some really pretty views just out the window here. 
You've got the separate water closet for the toilet. And then here's a closer version of the tub shower. Sorry, just the shower. And then you've got some storage solutions there for your towels. Backing up, lots of cabinet space in here. Tile, Jack and Jill sinks, once again, master bathtub, jetted, views out the windows. Like I said, this um, I'm gonna hit this patio from the main patio area so you can see it. Um, it does look like there might be some repair needed on the flooring, but this is this seems pretty minor. Okay, so coming back this way, um, it does look like we have a settlement crack going on here. I'm assuming that's nothing too big. That's looks like maybe where the drywall has decided not to behave. Um, probably have somebody look at that. So these windows, three of them, big old picture windows. And to get what it looks like, it looks just about like that. So that's the view from window one, window number two, and window number three. So the whole effect here is that you can see the whole plateau behind the house from the windows. So we'll come back. There's the door to the patio. Come back to that. So coming down the hallway out, it's not even a hallway, it's just another kind of open area to the Right hand side from the door to the back is the guest bathroom. So you've got once again, good cabinet space, tile, sink, mirror, and this is where your tub is. It's got the nice surround, all very clean looking. And then here is the same tile. It's the very Southwestern looking tile. It's muted southwest. I wouldn't say that it's like sometimes you get this tile that's like almost completely orange, but this just has like a really nice hint. It's not overwhelming. You've got two guest bathroom, two guest bedrooms, one on the left. They've both got Berber carpet in them. And this one has pretty much a heck of a view down this way too. Let's see if I can open that. There you go. Once again, the view looks a lot like this. So that's why we creek down there where that white rock is at the bottom leads down to the lake. So kind of turning around, closet in here. So this is guest bedroom number one. And then guest bedroom number two is across the hall. Keep in mind, this isn't really a hall. It's just kind of a little open space with three doors. It's fairly good size. Guest bedroom number two. And walking this way, once again, decent size closet. And let's see. Oh, this one is tight. Hold on a minute. There we go. So this is kind of out the front of the house. Um, there are neighbors across the street, but you can see that beyond the neighbors, this is about what it looks like. Um, if I could focus in a little bit there, it's not focusing. There it is, nope, lost it. All right, anyway, across the street, you can see there's a whole nother range of mountains back there. Okay, so I'm gonna head back out. So once again, here's the guest bedroom. I'm in one, living rooms. It's all very open, nice flow. Master bath is on the other side of that wall. You've got the chimney over here. Door to the back. Why don't we do that before I go downstairs? So this is the door to the back patio and I'm going to it'll help explain some other things when I get downstairs. So this is a track stack off the back here. You've got stairs down below. But the deck is pretty darn good size and if you come back this way that is the doors that are in the master bedroom so there's a separate area down here back of the house and the trek's decking but this is really quite the view here as you come back around navajo mountain is over there but she is covered in snow and fog today 
but it looks just about like that. And you rotate and you've got this big water straight cliffs back here. The tropic shale, the sandstone, Wawip Creek, this kind of white rock down here. That's about a 400 foot drop back there. That's a couple of hundred feet beyond the houses, a couple hundred yards maybe beyond the houses. But there are some really cool rock formations just right there, if you can see those. Oops, wrong way, coming around. And you've got views all the way back of the tropic shell and the sandstone. And then there's your neighborhood. So everybody's down here is like on a half acre to two acres. So this is pretty nice. Um, coming around this way, I guess you've got a guy with some junk back here, but that's about all I've seen. Everything else is really nice and tidy. Okay, I'm going to pick this up back inside and head downstairs.